Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm joined today by Stephen Baraga, who is the CEO of Anchor Goal. Stephen, you're in Cambodia. I don't know when I look, last looked at something in Cambodia. Tell me more. We got there in 2009. Well, so you've been there a while. We have been. Uh, Cambodia was relatively unknown. Of course, it's got a bit of a hangover from some very significant issues that have taken place over the years. Sure. Uh, 39 years young, they tend to say right now. They celebrated their 39th. Uh, anniversary of independence this year. Wow. And when we arrived in 2009, uh, there was generally a misunderstanding of what the geology was. When we, when we got there, the, the potential of copper porphyry systems simply wasn't on the, on the, in the cards. And we quickly realized that those maps were simply mislabeled, misunderstood. The plumbing was right. And so far we've identified four copper porphyries. We have another four to six targets that we think are showing the right signatures of additional porphyry potential. And uh, we're very lucky that we're bringing some serious uh, partners to the table as well now. So you think the geography's right? Do you think that the politics are right? Oh, it's a great question. Uh, we're very comfortable in Cambodia. I mean, at the end of the day, is Cambodia the, a similar a democracy to a Canadian democracy that we're, we're used to, or a European where you've got 700 years of experience behind their belt? As I mentioned, they're 39 years young right now. Right and uh, they're going through their growing pains, but uh, we're quite comfortable with the government and, uh, and, and, and think that the legislation that they've put in place really helps to mitigate any potential risk that, that might be perceived. And you have, a, you have a, a working partner on the project as well. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, one of our partners is JOGMEC, so the Japanese uh, National Corporation, uh, their exploration arm for the, for the government of Japan. They did a three-year, $3 million commitment to us uh, on our Oyadao South license. It's, uh, it's a halo prospect. It's a 7.25 square kilometer area. We've identified four uh, core targets that we're drilling out right now. First round of funding was a million dollars completed last year. Second million of the, th of the three-year commitment uh, is currently underway. We're working on a, a second round of drilling. Uh, we found alteration in all the holes. Our maiden hole, actually, we ended up with 99 meters of 0.24% uh, copper and 1.36 grams per ton on average of silver, uh, which was a nice first hole, okay. need, needless to say. Now we're, now we're looking at the rest of the targets. We're, we're drilling for structure, we're drilling for, for direction right now. And uh, once we've completed that three million uh, uh, commitment, the next step is uh, we're gonna co-fund 49, 51%. And if the results are there, of course, we'll have a good decision to make. Good stuff, and so you've got about a $20 million market cap. What sort of news should investors be watching for this year? Well, of course, we're gonna have, we'll have at least one, if not two drill programs to, to report on with JogMec. Another one of our partners is a group called Emerald Resources. Okay. They have uh, about 50 kilometers south of the license that we partnered with them on. They have a 1.2 million ounce gold deposit that they're, they're working on. They, they'll receive the second modern uh, commercial mining license in short order, we believe. And so uh, that, uh, that partnership is going to have some drilling coming out of it this year as well. They have a half a million dollar commitment for 2018. And uh, over a two year period, it's a, a total of $2 million of work that they're going to do on that license. And then of course we have uh, our partner, Mesco. Uh, Mesco has uh, received the very first mining license under the new mining code in Cambodia. We sold to them a 12 square kilometer area that they're, they've received their license and they anticipate a pour sometime in the, possibly in the next 12 months. We retained a two to seven and a half percent sliding scale NSR with that. So we're excited about the potential income that that might produce in the, in the short term for us. Well, and it might also be a financing opportunity, so. That's correct. Good stuff. Well, congratulations. It's a great story and thank you for sharing it with us today. Hey, thanks so much for having me. Pleasure, Steve.